paper we've written jokes just in case if I forget. Um, yeah, so Martin, our MC, was talking before about Trump. He was looking for Trump supporters. I do not support Trump, but first time I seen him performing, um, well, running for a um, for a president. Uh, it was like a love at first sight. Yeah. So basically, I fall in love in stand-up comedy. That's why I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Well, super. Um, I'm a little bit stressed. Yeah. That's only normal, I suppose. But I've heard there is a technique, yeah, where you imagine all of the audience naked, yeah. But we're gonna do a little bit different. So if we all can take our clothes off now, <laughs> we can actually dress up. <laughs> I will see some tits. All right. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So don't want to take your clothes. Cool. 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 I know we established you've got your limits. Cool. Uh, <laughs> limits. Let's talk about limits. Everything has their limits. And everything can be good or bad for you, with limits. So, like a little bit of um, a little bit of domestic violence never killed anyone. If it killed, it was already too much of it. And I'm, I'm completely against domestic violence. Me and my girlfriend, we always go out to park. We we sort it out outside. We put gloves on. And then we fight. So it's non-domestic. You see, I'm. I'm against domestic violence, and uh, yeah, our neighbors don't know what's happening in our house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Violence, violence, violence. Yeah, uh, let me say some stories about my childhood. When I was a kid, yeah, there was some violence in my house. Not too much, a little bit, so as you see, I'm still alive. Um, my father, he was beating us up, like a little bit, you know, just a little bit, with a belt. And I was given him plenty of reasons to do that every single day. Oh, oh. one of the examples, um, we had chickens, like a little chickens, like Gatis, like Gatis chickens. Um, and I really thought they can fly. So like, when they jump, they can flap their wings a little bit. And they jump on the top of the little roof. So I thought, if they have enough speed, and not like amphetamine, it's Polish speed, <laughs> but like if they get enough speed, maybe they can pick up and fly. So I went, I picked up a chicken, we went upstairs, first floor, and I just like did my math, math, my calculations. I wasn't good with math, you see, up here. And <laughs> tossed the chicken down, like forward. And the first part went great. He was going, picking up on speed, but he never picked up, he never could. <laughs> none of them, none of them. But every time, the next day or the day after, we had lovely Polish soup. Always have to find positives in, in, in our situations. Yeah. What's there? What's there? What's there? Ah, chickens. I'll tell you a story about chicken. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. I'll tell you a story about chicken. Yeah, I'll tell you a story about chicken. When I was a kid, I remember I was three, four year old. And we had a big, massive tree, and we had chickens as well. We had massive tree with plants. And I remember, like today, the, the taste of these plants, you know, was amazing, <laughs> sort of. Um, but the tree had to be removed because, like, whenever it was too windy, like it was just bouncing and bouncing, was leaning towards the house. My father was scared that he's gonna just fall this through the house. Um, so I said, before they're gonna do it, I wanna eat the last plum. The last plum. So I went outside before they cut the tree, and I went, and like, because the tree was like, the branches were too high for me to climb, oh, to climb up. So I went down and I looked for plums. But the plums were really good, so the chickens were eating them. Like, that's not the plant, and that's not the plant. I said, ah, fucking plant! <laughs> so I went down, and I remember it like today. I looked at the plant, and I was like, oh, little plant, chickens didn't eat you. I was like, oh, you're squishy. I said, what the fuck is your pit? I said, it's not pitless plant, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> hands are shaking, you know. It's not from stress, it's from the nostalgia. <laughs> It wasn't a plan, it was a chicken shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was funnier. That was funnier when I got the time. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's not the end. Yeah. Um, there was a my story when I was a kid, yeah. 
Um, now I have kids of my own, two little sweet, horrible creatures. Yes. First, it's called Oli, like me, so it's easier to remember, which makes things better and creates confusion at the same time. My girlfriend calls Oli, Oli, so we can either, depending on what's how her tone of voice is, we can either ignore her, both, or we can, like, if, if it's something good, we can run home. Yeah. My kids are savage too. Yes, they are. They are uh, very creative and they are very fearless. Yeah. So I'm uh, very sharp. My four-year-old Elliot. Um, last time he was misbehaving a little bit, and I said, Elliot, I've got chocolate. But because you misbehave, I have a chocolate. <laughs> and you know what he said? He said. story but from my childhood when we were kids it was six of us like uh, it was three boys three girls and um, we weren't like poor but we didn't get like pocket money to, to splash because it was like just yeah no pocket money there was food in the fridge um, so me and my siblings we used to hustle we used to make money ourselves so for example we used to cut flowers from our garden and from our neighbor's garden. Okay, just from our neighbor's garden. <laughs> <laughs> garden. Yeah. We used to cut, like, cut uh, lilac flowers, put them in a bucket with water, and go around the offices and sell them. Hi guys, would you like to buy some flowers? And like, oh, how cute, but we've got some flowers already. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's, like, oh, it's not selling. <laughs> then I told my sister to any time, like somebody's gonna be like, oh no, thank you, we've got flowers. I said, listen, Bogusha, hold my, my hand and be like, as we were walking out, like, we're gonna be happy again. <laughs> we had so many regulars that we would not have to go and ask them. We would just go and hi guys, you're right, how's your flowers? Ah, we'll come back tomorrow. Whoa. What else? What else? How else did we make money? Many ways, many ways. We used to collect like um yeah, I don't think you guys in UK did something like that, maybe. We used to collect like wooden fucking euro palettes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, 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 poverty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we used to be not poverty. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They collect coal. Yeah. Um, so, so we used to collect like Euro pallets, you know, like whenever something is being delivered in a pallet. So we would go to like some um, the wholesalers and ask if we can take it or steal or something, whatever. We wouldn't ask if we can steal, we'd just steal or ask if we can have it. Um, yeah, and one here, one there, one there, a couple of pounds made in a pocket, we go, you know, we get drunk or something. Um, then we would realize that we can go in the back of the collection point where we sold the pallets and we were taking the pallets from there. We're making it more efficient. We're going on the back, taking the parents, bringing them to the front, selling. And I was going like this for two, three, four weeks. Loads of money. And will they caught us. Yeah, we have to move on. Uh, talking about being caught, um, yeah. Uh, we'll close with last joke. So now, I don't know, we have a couple of people with children. Your children, they don't go to school no more. No, yeah, so no. can't relate. Okay, it doesn't matter. That's I can relate, I can relate. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, School is back on. School is back on. Kids are in school. Lovely. Uh, Monday, my kids went back to school. I dropped them off. Had a joint. Lay down in bed. <laughs> that was masturbating. <laughs> and I got caught. I got caught and I got banned from IKEA. No more masturbating. Thank you very much, guys. I'm all in.